There are two schools of thought when it comes to addiction work. One is to heal the trauma first. The other is to avoid the trauma. And actually the avoiding the trauma has been the one that has historically been what psychologists and therapists and addiction recovery people said. And in my opinion, it is dangerous and complete bullshit. Let me tell you why. The trauma is the triggers that make people want to drink. So if the trauma is in there and people are uncomfortable because they have all this unresolved trauma in their body, how are you going to find a way to be sober? Right? And so people say it just doesn't make sense. So you want to heal the trauma in a safe way with people that know what they're doing in order to improve your your ways of being sober. So the other thing is, if we look at it from an internal family systems perspective, and that's parts work, there is the essence of the person. And this is, you know, like your spirit, who you are, blissed, you know, un, unhurt. And then we have parts that get born kind of through trauma. So if our parents, you know, rejected us, then we have this rejected inner child part that needs to be healed. So the thing that is a little bit ironic about an addict part, it's actually the same thing with people that have suicidal thoughts is they're actually protectors, right? Because if they're drinking or using or whatever, it's to avoid the pain that is unprocessed that they're feeling. So if you go into your mind and you look at your imagination and your parts, you'll see oftentimes that there is a wounded part that the addict or even the suicidal part is protecting, right? Because the suicidal part might be like, we don't want to feel that pain. I don't see another way out. And so the goal is to take the parts to heal them, to give them individual attention and to integrate them. And sometimes it helps like when we're in recovery to birth a new part, the part that knows how to do recovery. But we also want to make sure that all the other parts are on board. And that's where the therapy comes in because you're integrating more into your essence. If you have a suicidal part or a self-sabotage part or a passive aggressive part, those parts can mess up recovery. So you want to go in and you want to integrate to be more whole. And actually, that's where spirituality part comes in, too, because then you get to embody your higher self. The more we get these uh, lower functioning energies that the parts are holding out of our space, the more we can embody our higher selves. So the other thing I'll say about bullshit that psychology kind of told people is, you know, like, oh, it's a mental illness. <laughs> Everyone on planet Earth is mentally ill, and it is the way out of the insanity of mental of planet Earth. We need to do the shadow work. That is how we heal and we embody goodness and bring heaven back onto earth.